Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Korean side dish that does not require turning on the stove. And all you need is a can of tuna and this delicious soy sauce mixture with these vegetables together will turn your canned tuna into a delicious side dish. And all you need is some Korean rice and kimchi together will be a meal onto itself. 오늘의 밑반찬 레시피 아주 간단하고 맛있는 tuna 양념 반찬 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영어를 함께 하겠습니다. It's like a party in my mouth. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 헬렌입니다. The written recipe is available at the website you see below. To make our tuna seasoning sauce, we need a quarter cup of soy sauce. We need one tablespoon of mirum, that's Korean cooking wine. We have two tablespoons of minced scallion, just the green part only. Half a tablespoon of garlic, finely minced. Half a teaspoon of brown sugar. One tablespoon of gochugaru, coarse ground is fine. One tablespoon of finely minced red onion. And here is my frozen ginger that I always have in the freezer. And I take it out and using a microplane, we're just gonna grate it. Less than quarter teaspoon. In the back, there's always some stuck, so make sure to scrape it off and then add it. Then we need a generous sprinkling of sesame seeds. Less than half a tablespoon. Then we're just gonna mix everything together. This, you could use it on so many things. I would make scrambled eggs, put a little bit on it, and have it with Korean rice. That, look at that. So here's our canned tuna. You can use oil or water canned tuna. Doesn't really matter, and we're just gonna Add our tuna to our container. And this liquid leftover, whether it's water or oil, do not add it. And we're just gonna break it up with our fork so that it looks like this. And here I have some finely minced green peppers without any seeds. For me, the seeds tends to taste bitter and also makes my dish look messy. You can use serrano, jalapeno, or any spicy peppers of your choice. This is a tablespoon of finely minced green pepper. And we're just gonna add it here. Pukkochu in Korean. So I like the added extra kick from our spicy green peppers. And then we're just gonna pour our soy sauce mixture, yangnyeom ganjang. Now, don't waste anything. So scrape it, put all of our delicious soy sauce mixture to our canned tuna and just gently spread it. We don't want to really mix this around. We just want to make sure the top layer is fully covered with our soy sauce mixture. Now you could eat this right away as is, or you could just let it sit on your kitchen counter for about a good 30 minutes. Or what I like to do is store this in the fridge overnight and eat it the next day. And here's one that I made 24 hours ago and I want you to see the difference. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick taste test with you. So first, I'm gonna taste the one that we just made together. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Everything that we love about canned tuna, plus the spiciness, the um, soy sauce taste, and all the other vegetables that we added together. Oh. It's so good. Using another set of chopsticks here, we're gonna taste the one that I made 24 hours ago that we put in the refrigerator. Mm. The taste is very different. This one has that sort of canned tuna taste. This one doesn't. This one just tastes like cooked fish with this delicious uh, marinade. And the spiciness isn't as pronounced. I mean, it's spicy still, but it's just subtle. This is really good too. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. All right, let me make a perfect bite for you. Some tuna and some of the pickled vegetables. Ooh, that looks so good. I mean, that's all you need. And look at that. Korean rice and our soy sauce pickled canned tuna side dish. One side dish, but it's actually an entree. Enjoy it.
And of course, if you wanna make a perfect bite, all you need is a piece of kimchi. Now, that is old Korean tuna heaven in your mouth. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to enjoy this. I take a little bit of Korean rice to a piece of kim, like that. And then to this, we're gonna add our tuna. Add a small piece of avocado, like that, together. I mean, does that look good or does that look good? And of course, a little piece of kimchi, tuna soaked in our delicious soy sauce mixture with vegetables and a slice of kimchi and avocado with warm Korean rice together. That is a mouthful. A simple can of tuna will take you to this food heaven right here. All right, I'm gonna feed you, say ah! Bon appetito! Mm. It's like a party in my mouth. There's so many flavors and the vegetables that we added, oh, it tastes so good. Just completely drenched and soaked in the soy sauce mixture. And the tuna does not taste like canned tuna. It just tastes like really yummy fish. You gotta make this at home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon because doing so does wonders for my channel and I would totally appreciate your support. And subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 구독 버튼을 눌러 주시고요. 다음 비디오에서 뵙겠습니다. Alright folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.